Hey guys, Ian here from FBV Power. Just going to show you how to terminate our waterproof uh, plugs, connectors. Uh, these are rated at 60 amps, uh, heavy duty. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, explain the polarity. Red wire, positive from your battery. Black wire, negative from a battery. You want to make note, are these powered cables? I.e. example, battery. A battery is a powered, so these are actually powered uh, ends uh, where a motor is a non-powered end. <coughs> Very important because these, that they basically intersect like this and what you need to make note is the red grommet. The red grommet is on the positive side of a powered lead, meaning from the battery. This matches with this connector with the O-ring. The other thing to um, make note of is the actual inner terminal. There's two types of terminals. One's hollow and one is solid, like a bullet. So the hollow and the bullet. You want to make note that the, the other end, the end that's both the same, is where the wire goes in and that's where you crimp it or solder. Preferably crimping if you can. Uh, and because if it's a low amp application, you can go ahead and solder it if you want to. I recommend crimping. So with this terminal, the hollow terminal matches with the plastic connector, the outer connector with the red grommet. As you can focus into here, see, that's how it goes in, like this. Alright, not the other way around. And the other one is the bullet inner connector. That's the part that gets connected, and that's the part that you solder your wire in. And that goes into this part. In there, like that. So this is the outer case matching that inner terminal for the negative side of a powered cable, meaning the battery negative. Generally, we use 10 gauge wire. So there's a 10 gauge wire, and it's fairly thick uh, on, our, on our batteries. What you see here is just a custom boot battery for one of our customer, but we're going to use it just to um, demonstrate how to do it. First of all, you need to strip the wire. Uh, we don't recommend using those wire strippers where you sort of, it's got a jaw and you press the lever and it sort of pulls. That leaves you with a very frayed um, or the wire strand inside. What you want to do is get a tool like this. If you don't have a tool like this, get yourself a very sharp uh, Stanley knife or a blade. What this does is I can set the depth of the blade and I've set it perfectly. And to show you how nice it is to use the tool like this. So with this, I go one, two, three, and all I do is I pull it up gently. And can you notice how the strands is non, uh, it doesn't fray, is intact. So now with the uh, strand in its original uh, shape, we're really close, meaning it hasn't frayed. You haven't disturbed it. What you've done is you basically cleanly pulled off the um. The outer layer, just on the here, with the tool. Uh, don't have the tool, like I said, use a Stanley knife or a blade. So carefully feed this in. A 10 gauge wire will fill this up very, very tightly. So you might not be able to get all the strands in, but you should be able to get most of the strand in. And right now I have, see that? See the edge that frays out? That's quite normal, but you can be sure that you can sort of feel it and see it. That majority of the uh, the wire is packed tight in there. Now there's a couple of crimping tools you can use. With various um, crimping tools on the market, what I like is this crimping tool. Uh, and this one here works on a ratchet system. So there you go. Um, and what I like to do is go from the second bigger size. You can sort of see which, which one you can sort of start off with. And make sure that it's pushed tight. And what I do is you like to do the, let's say, the one third closer to the bottom of the, um, can you see on the terminal, that's the top of the terminal, that's where your wires gets jammed, pushed up against that block there. And I like to crimp the bottom, the bottom one third. So that will ensure that majority of the wires is above the crimp. So you actually get very tight. So that's the first, you actually put a little indent. So it, that's still loose. So I flip the tool around and go for the next size, which is smaller. Like so, make sure it's tight. Two hands, push down. You can see the indentation getting stronger, getting deeper. And on the third one, and that's all that she needs. Push down, you can feel it really tight now with the ratchet system. 
and now you have a crimp that is nice and strong. There we go. Uh, just to note, um, it's not a good idea to have two terminals exposed together. Um, just doing this is for the demonstration, but um, if you touch them, they will short. The BMS system on our batteries will protect, but the initial spark will most likely damage your terminal. So let's get it covered. I will work on the positive first. This is the back of each um, uh, waterproof connector. Is one of these, and I've placed it in the chart so you can see how it's made from. Uh, that's the plastic housing with a rubber grommet. So the plastic housing faces the back, goes into the case like this. That's the back of the case. That's the thread at the front. So you push it in like this, and you put the terminal through this way. Okay, so that uh, as you tighten, see those claws will close in and give you the water type and the seal. So push it all the way back and make sure you get the, the right connector, hollow point in the terminal with the red grommet for a positive of a battery. Okay, this is a powered line. On the other end would be this end. I'll explain that later. So with a plier, I guess there was a set of pliers and just grab onto here. I'm actually working with my left hand here. And you want to just carefully push and get the back of the wire and push it in until you hear it click. There we go. It has clicked. And that would be, is if you can focus on there, see how close that is. There will be a bit of a movement, but it would have gone past the locking position. And that's it, she's in. And with a push all the way into the front, tighten the back until it butts up against the front of the connector. And there you have a finished terminated waterproof connection. High current, beautifully sealed at the back. And it's a 60 amp discharge going through this, is capable of. The same thing with the <coughs> negative side, just quickly. And once again, it is the inner terminal is a bullet, solid, into this connector, okay? And that's across the back, that's the thread. And once again, that's pushed back. We need to put, let me just do it with my right hand. Right hand on the pliers, just grab just above the wires, push it in until it clicks, okay? If you try to do it with your fingers, you're not gonna get it in, because it needs quite a lot of force, and with the pliers, you ensure that the wires is not kinked or bent or pulled. So you don't want to have any pressure on the crimping point at all. So once again, push it all the way in, push this in, tighten it until it hits, like so. And there you have a perfect waterproof seal connector. Another thing to point out is, if you do this, all right, you blow the connectors because the initial spark will cause damage. You damage your terminal in 99.9% in you won't be able to use it. Uh, so what, what I recommend is when you've got leads like this, get a zip tie and just zip tie it there. So you physically <laughs> cannot plug this in or you have other people who are got itchy fingers and they just have to, you know, test it. Uh, so uh, you can prevent that from happening. Now, moving on. Like we said, this is a powered uh, positive wire because this is a battery. This is power. There's power going through here. It's a live wire, as to say. So the opposite side of this, let's say a trolling motor. A trolling motor will have this, this connector, okay, like so. So this connector here for your trolling motor, your red positive trolling motor has this connector. It goes into here, which is the same connector as your negative from the battery. So you need to just make sure that uh, these, this is your base standard, this is your powered connection, making note of the inner terminal being hollow and the, and the outer connector has the red grommet, has a red uh, seal. Whereas the negative powered is this connector with a bullet point in a terminal and then anything opposite such as a trolling motor or a charger will be the opposite of these. So that, this would be there and that would be here. Like that, like this. So just make, if you can make note of this, you never go wrong.